All right, how's it going? This is Colrolf, and welcome back to RimWorld, where we are on this item stash request to get the AI Persona Core. Uh, should be in this building, but there's unknown dangers, so let's just set up and proceed cautiously, guys. Let's, um, yeah, we can get you two over here. Okay, let's just move up slowly. There we go. We've got... <laughs> we're ambushed by cows that were in the ground. I don't... I don't... I, what? <laughs> Everyone get together. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, take down the cows quickly. <laughs> what? Good job, everyone. Oh, we had a zit back at home. Uh, well... I can honestly say that was unexpected. Um, and we're going to put these cows out of their misery. Yep. Okay, so that happened. <laughs> cows. Okay. Thank you, Cassandra. Alright, let's get our AI Persona Core. I'm not going to take the passive cooler. Um... Uh, hmm. From here, how long would it take us? Like, is it worthwhile taking the cows? It probably isn't. One day. Okay. Well, we're gonna unforbid them. Seems unfortunate to uh, leave them here, but uh, definitely not gonna be able to tame them and bring them back. Okay. Successful mission, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's take all our stuff, make sure it's all loaded. Let's see. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't um, automatically select everything. Go, there we go. Got some fine meals that people took with them. Okay. Um, I don't think they're, I think they're just going to be... No. Even one is too many. <laughs> That's probably fine. Uh, we can take these marble chunks with us. One, two. Eh, it's not really worth it. That's just going to slow us down. Oh, food. We have to switch everyone over. Okay. To caravan. 1.2 days. Accept. Alright. Let's make sure everyone's... Uh, where was it? Uh, was it here? Food restriction caravan. There we go. Noodles around here somewhere. Let's get everyone switched so that we can eat our package survival meals. There we go. Okay, and now just to double check it. Did everyone correctly? There we go. Good. Alright, well let's uh, look back here. There was a zit. Looks like it's already been taken care of and isn't really a problem. Good! That's what we like to see. Self-sufficient colony can deal with problems like electrical explosions all on their own. <laughs> Actually, I'm just thinking, for safety's sake, I'm gonna unfor- I'm gonna forbid this, I think. There we go. Cuz, yeah, that spawns an infestation. And we don't have our full colony present. Uh, I'm worried it could go really badly. Let's not take the risk. We've got the one out here. There it is. So you can work on that one and mine that out. But if an infestation spawns, it'll run into our combat zone and will be much easier to handle than right in the middle of our base. We'll start that one up again, but yeah, maybe when these guys get back. Okay, uh, another thing we should do is set up more steel to be mined. Where is a nice close deposit? Okay, so there's one right here. Let's, oh, finish carpet making. Okay, let's do this. We've kind of finished off basically everything we really want to get. Um, oh, we could get IDs. Yeah, that might be helpful. Might set up a few of those uh, when we're... 
setting up our defenses for turning on the reactor, but for now, let's just get more steel mined. Okay. Paul, are you still working on components? Good. Okay. We're up to 21. I may actually switch these advanced components up. And let's make these advanced components and then, um, yeah, we struck compacted seal probably over there. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Because once they run out of components to make advanced components, they'll, this order will get queued up. And that way they'll at least have like five components. Anywhere from zero to five, I guess. And that way we'll keep making these because I just want to get this thing done. Let's see. Oh wow, they really just blasted this through. Let's, um, didn't want to set up too much. Um, I wasn't exactly sure where the deposit was, but as we mine that out, it'll become a little clearer. We still have much silver over here. Yeah, a little bit. Can reach these two spots. We'll move it over when uh, that's done, and this one... Yeah, I've actually mined, mined a good amount of it out. Okay. Yeah, I wish you could label things. You know, that's chem fuel, I remember that, and there's gold right there. Uh, I think that was chem fuel. After that, I'm not really sure what some of these are. I mean, mostly interested in the smaller ones, but... Oh, eel is just rocking the mining, so let's just set more up here. Nice. Let's actually just do it like that. I'm sure that's steel. If not... It's fine. Where are these guys at? Oh good, they're almost, almost there. At the village at the Mesa. Which I know we said we weren't coming back to. Not because we didn't like them, but because... We thought we were done with Caravan. But here we are. <laughs> Hello, we're back. I know we said we're leaving, but... We don't have enough Plasteel. And... Yeah... Still making advanced components. Have you guys made any since we've been here? Alright, they've arrived. Let's trade. Let's just scroll down. Do they have any advanced components? Probably not. No. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. We will sell off a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, there's our muffalos we sent. So you didn't lose all the muffalos that we gave you. You've got you've got some of them. <laughs> Don't really want to sell you guys muffalos if, if you're not going to be responsible. Uh, smoke leaf, yeah, we'll sell that off. And yeah, we're actually going to have to buy something for you from you. But let's not let's not worry about that till we sell everything. Okay, well maybe we'll hold on to this. Fortunately. Oh, and you've still got our armchairs that we sent you. Very good. <laughs> uh, poor advanced helmet. What could we get from you? An excellent shield belt. Again. It's just everywhere. Maybe they completed that uh, mission for the tribals. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't want either of those. Don't really have any other good weapons. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you've got uranium. I don't think we. Oh no, that's right. Plasteel. Plasteel. Don't forget the plasteel. Kolrolf, buy the plasteel. Okay, good. We bought it. Okay. Well, with that, we'll head on back. Yeah, because we didn't really want anything else, and we could use the silver for us. Our mass is fine, and we've got enough food. Except. Okay. Let's. Get these guys heading back home. There we go. Head home. And we'll probably drop pod maybe to these guys. We could go all the way out here. I mean, it's all connected by road, so it should be a quick trip back. But other than that, I don't imagine the tribals have many advanced components 
And the pirates will not talk to us. Another caravan request. Ugh. No. I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so we finished IEDs. Uh, maybe pemmican? I don't know. Let's just keep researching things. Not a whole lot else for Harry to do. I guess we could turn him on uh, making meals. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea. Ironically, we're kind of running low on meals. Um. Yeah, let's get these fine meals finished off, then we'll go back to simple meals. We got so many veggies we can use, it's getting... It's getting a little silly. That we're, you know, we're running low on meals, but they've got all this they can do. Oh well, looks like they're... David and Dana are picking up stuff. We're gonna finish this off. Once those meals are... Once that meat is done... Oh yeah, we're not able to move in more food, is that it? No, oh, we've harvested everything. Oh, we're harvesting things right now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we've got... Yeah, we'll have a little bit of spots. If they get that butchering done, that would be good too. Oh well, we'll get to it. Oh, we need to expand this stockpile. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just expand zone to there. That should be enough to to uh, hold all of it. There we go, Andy will do that job. Good. Nice and complete. And all these are fueled up again. Good. So Paul's just finishing off that one. Should look at... Um... Oh, Lexi's queued up for it next. Let's just do ten. I should really... Um figure out exactly how many I need. How many our ship needs. But, um... Yeah, how many have we got now? Two? Okay. And Paul is making components. I wonder why. Did we run out of uh, materials for them already? We should have enough. Huh. What's he working on now? Where are you here, Paul? Making components. Huh. Okay, well, what, um... What do we need? We've got everything. We've got components. We've got steel. We've got plasteel. We've got gold. Well, I guess because it's assigned to Lexi, she's gonna... Here, let's see if we can fix this. No. He's going to go right back to making components. Well, okay, I'm going to leave it because we do need the components, so... That should be alright. Let's see, is this thing done? No, still being worked on. Eel's going to come over here, it looks like, yep. Yeah. I got three more, because so, the red's going to be one more and then two more here. Oh, now we finished pemmican. Uh... Hmm. Hydroponics, we haven't got that yet. Why not? Oh, I've got a bulk goods trader again. Great. Alright, well, we've got some things we can sell you. Hopefully you've got some advanced components. That will aid us quite a bit. Oh man. I just keep talking about advanced components, because really... That's what we need. <laughs> But I should think about talking about other things. Change it up a little bit. We've got more need than just advanced components. Oh, we can mine more of this steel out. Let's get that done. Reasonably sized deposit. Very good. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should just start working on the next deposit. Let's just do this. There we go. Yeah, and then I guess we can, um, well, let's hold off making more um, drop pods, because really they get done so quickly. They just require components and steel, so when we need them, we'll queue them up and then off we go. 
But I guess in the morning, when Quinn can talk to these guys. Uh, how close are you guys? Oh, good. 0.4 days. So you'll be here mid uh, midday tomorrow. Or today, I guess. Good. Turn that thing back on and not have to worry so much about possible attack. Infestation coming in. Alright, let's trade with these guys and just really thin down what we want to sell. Okay, what do they got? Here we go. Um, <laughs> no, no advanced components. Well, maybe we should get things like advanced steel helmets. Yeah, let's buy that from them. And let's see, what can we sell you guys? Uh, let's just get rid of that, even though it's not quite at the mark. That's okay. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? No. Nah. All that clothing we'll keep. Kind of cycling's ours, Ambrosia's ours. Bird skin, do you guys have any? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna get those chairs finished off one of these days. And we've got lots of alpaca wool and things, insect jelly. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing we're really interested in. Okay. Alright, I'll just do that. Got that advanced helmet, someone can wear that. Slightly better than the, uh, the other helmets we've got. Actually, let's see. Um, no, it's made over here. It's made over here. Do we have any keyed up? Let's just see. What are they? So the simple helmet, I'm pretty sure, is just steel. Yeah. Steel. Assuming we're going to make them out of steel. Didn't really want to make it, but we'll take a look. Advanced helmet. I think you need components. Plasteel, two components. Okay. Yeah. I'll leave that alone for now. Let's get this ship built. We're up to 24. Oh, and no advanced components. That must mean we not made another one? One of these should have... Should be ready to go. Oh, past it. There it is. Okay. Someone just needs to run over and construct it. Okay, there. Eel is. Good. One more down. And what is that? Twelve more to go. <laughs> oh, looks like a little bit of steel here that we can mine out. Did they start on this one yet? No. Nope. Okay. And our caravan has arrived. Welcome back, everyone. Glad it was a safe trip. <laughs> Got attacked by a whole bunch of bulls, but uh, other than that... And that even wasn't really a, a big concern. <laughs> Just a little surprising. Oh. Aw. Uh, now Paul's making component. He swapped in. Oh, maybe that's because she finished. No, I think he popped it. Yeah, there's the advanced component. Okay. Oh, well, not sure why she stopped. Maybe she went to get something to eat. Lexi. Sewing. Okay. Sewing an area. Alright, I guess... Something distracted her and she left. Paul went back to make more components. It's for research. Yeah. I guess what we can do is we could just, you know, keep Harry researching and maybe complete everything just for the sake of doing it. Because I'm guessing we'll have the time. A lot of these are much faster research projects than the things we've been working on. It's not really... there's nothing here that we really need. Um, yeah. But maybe just for the sake of doing it, give him a a task to do. We are almost out. Fine meals. Um, and that actually reminds me, we've got to switch these guys back to colonist. 
So they stop eating the packaged survival meals. Uh, yeah, clear forest, because that's probably her, her hat that she is wearing, and that is fine. Okay, well... Huh. We're actually going to have to suspend... Making these meals, I'm not sh Oh, okay, they have... Oh, they've started making simple meals, they just can't fit them in. Oh, good grief. Uh, now we've got the opposite problem. We've got so much food. We can't contain it all. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not gonna go hunting for a little bit. Um, maybe we can... Suspend sowing this corn again, if I can get it. Just the corn? Just the corn? No? Okay, fine, forget it. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep fiddling with it. Uh... Oh good, Lexi is making another advanced component. Hey, let's do a day in the life of Lexi. Let's just follow you around. Oh, you're gonna visit... Oh, you're gonna visit the grave of Romeo. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, our poor Labrador Retriever. I think a bear took him down at some point. He was with us quite a ways. Or quite a long time, I mean. Yeah. I'm sad to see him go. That was nice that Lexi visited. Oh, now you're going to make a toque. I would have muffalo wool, because we don't have that many. Alright. Make a nice little muffalo wool toque. Excellent quality. Good. Oh, and then she ran off. Where'd you go? Harvesting wild eel root. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this area. Yeah, we should do a big plant cut in here. Again, let's just set that up and then we'll get back to uh, see what Lexi's doing today. We'll do both of them at once just to... There. Clear that out. Alright, Lexi, where are you at? You are making more advanced components. Okay. Good work done there. Oh, we've got another two. Good. We will have that done. And uh, we'll have another uh, crypto sleep casket ready. Very good. This one is Paul, so I guess you just move that over. What's Paul doing? Nothing. He's wandering. He doesn't have anything to do. Hmm. Hmm. There he goes by, just kind of wondering if Lexi's done. Can I work on this thing again? Might make sense to build a second one of these. I don't know, I'm kind of torn at this point. We're getting... We're getting reasonably close to getting this done, but it would definitely speed things up. Research is still going on. Everything is just so quick now. All these little 500 research point tasks that uh, Harry's just blasting through. Oh, now Paul is working on components. And Lexi, where are you? Where are you at? You're cutting tall grass. Oh, okay, good. Yes, let's get this cleared out. Tall grass is super quick. Get some berries there. Very good. Yeah. Doesn't make the area look nice, but it's a whole lot easier to shoot and uh, have a clear line of sight if you don't have trees growing everywhere. All right, what are you doing now? Oh, okay, busy, busy. Fixing this uh, cooler. Fortunately, it's going to use one of our components. Ah, uh, so it goes. Now what are you doing? Oh, back to cutting grass. Okay. I guess that some of that must have uh, just regrown, possibly. Oh, good. Got more heel root, which we totally don't need. I'm sure it'll go to waste, unfortunately. <laughs> uh... And this project is almost done, and now you are stargazing. Okay. A little stargazing session out here by the geothermal generator. Well, isn't that nice? It's Stargazing is fun. Especially when you kind of get into a little bit more uh, learning what the constellations are. Maybe doing a little uh, stargazing with a telescope. When you've got something to look at, it's nice. Like you know what you want to look for. Seeing planets and whatnot is pretty amazing. Just, you know, you see the photos from NASA and 
and whatnot and say, wow, it's amazing. But it's it's something entirely different when you actually look through a telescope and you see f- see it for yourself. And you're like, holy smokes. I don't know. Just, I don't know. What do you say? Whether it makes it more real? I guess? I don't know. Um, okay, so this is done. We're going to move it over. But it looks like a social fight started over there. Alright, let's just do that. That should still reach. Colonist leads rescue Paul. Man, guys. Paul and Harry are no longer social fighting. It's good. Um, guys, what happened here? Harry flagrantly disrespected Paul's intellectual skills. Well, that's not nice. Huh. I mean, really, Harry, just because you're the smartest one in the colony doesn't mean you can go around and diss other people just because they're maybe not as smart as you. Okay, well, I guess now that everyone's back, we can turn that one on, get the rest of the silver. And that one went to forbid because it mined out everything, so. We'll set that one up again. Keep getting a little bit more silver. I mean, we've got a lot of silver now, but it'll be good to buy things from people once um, once they come. Hopefully with more uh, marine armor and stuff, as well as advanced components. But until then, thanks everyone for watching. Catch you in the next one. Take care.